Hello. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Fine. I'm just choosing Padang's food for lunch. Do you want some? Yes, let's have some. But I think you're vegan, so yes. let's pick some vegetables only for Okay. Me. Okay? Mas, saya pesan dua. Yang satu cuma pakai sayur. Yang satu saya pakai rendang ya. Long time no see. Long time. Since <laughs> Corona. Yes. Congratulations for your new baby born. Thank you. What is her name? Sage. Sage. So how it's a new life for you and new your life. wife as as well, right? Yes. How becoming a date changed your life? It gives you a different purpose about uh, about life. Mm -hmm. What is important? It totally changes. You know, mm -hmm. before I was thinking that maybe. A final of Piala Mempora is the most important thing in my life, but when you look to your phone and you see your baby smiling, you know, you forget about football, like you forget about everything because... You give everything in this life for her. For her. So basically, of course, the football game is still important, but it becomes important in a different way because you're doing it for your baby, right? How is your wife? She's doing good. And, you know, becoming a new parent, it means you have to stay very late night because your baby will also crying yes. every night perhaps. Yeah. So how you maintain because you have a training perhaps in the morning with the team. Yes. But you have to stay very late because of your baby crying. Oh, my baby, yes. <laughs> Luckily, I'm my, my family in Bali now because my wife and my, my child born in Bali. So mm -hmm. uh, I moved to Jakarta because I have back training. So luckily I can sleep. Ah, I see. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's the only positive side. Yeah. I miss them, you know. Okay. Talking about life, you came to Indonesia in such a very young age. And you decide, even you decide to become Indonesian. Yes. Uh, nationality for you. Who, who encouraged you and who asked you to come to Indonesia? At that time, it was just an agent who called me mm -hmm. uh, because he worked together with uh, with the coach Robert Alberts at that time. Yeah. So they needed a, a player like me, you know, defensive midfielder. And by one of the other reason, he came to me, you know, because he saw my videos. So at that time, everything was abu abu, you know, like the the money was not great. The duration of the contract was only one satu uh, tahun. So there was a lot of uncertainty about going to Indonesia. But something in my gut said, like, I just, I think I just need to go. I need to start all over again and just focus, you know, like becoming the best version of myself in a totally different country. So, yeah. Do you ever heard the name of Indonesia before? I came on holiday before already. Oh, yeah. Of in, course, in Bali. In Bali, yes. Okay. In 2013. Um, and I didn't know about football, to be honest. I didn't know about football. But when he told me, I did research, you know, and, and I was thinking that this can be a life-changing decision. Mm -hmm. And four years later, it, it changed my life, yes. And then who, who makes you to become Indonesian? I think that's just... Uh, how life go, I think how God decided for me to do this because I arrived and, and I and never in my life I had thought about changing nationality. Like mm. this is not something that you think about in life, right? So yeah. when I came here, people started asking me, do you want to be Indonesian? And I was like, okay, let's see, you know, but is it even possible? Mm. I didn't know, is mm. it possible? So we find out that it's possible and and at that moment I started asking myself like why not because I really like it here I like it more than home Yeah I like it more than Holland so why not you know I I, I want to stay here for a long time I think it's a good decision so at that moment we just started the process and and now I'm in Indonesia yeah How did your family respond about it They accepted it because uh they say whatever you feel happy with and feel uh, good with, you should do. Mm -hmm. So they just supported it all the way. Okay.
Thank you. So uh, we give special drawing for you. This is silsap. Okay. Just silsap. Yes. Pure silsap. Do you know silsap? I know. I've heard about this. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you have to try. Okay. I don't really, really like it, so... It's, it's, it's bitter, right? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sore, I think. Wait, let me try it a little bit. <laughs> it's okay. It's healthy. It's very healthy, yeah, it's very, it's very healthy. healthy. Okay, so let's eat. How to say let's eat in, in Dutch? It's makkelijk. Oh yeah, it's makkelijk. <laughs> Can you cook? Of course. Yeah. But okay. I never cook in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> so you always buy from from the restaurant or you, do you have any own menu since you're vegan? What's your favorite? Actually, I do meal plan. So mm -hmm. every day they send, um, we make a menu for one week with the restaurant and they send to me every day two meals. Mm -hmm. So I know how much protein, how much calories, everything I take. It's so I don't have to think too much. Yeah. Why, why do you choose to become vegan? First of all, I think it's more healthy for the body. And yeah. uh, more... Uh, better for me as an athlete, if I'm more healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, less injuries, better recovery time. And second of all, I, I just don't like the way people turn animals, you know, into daily consumption for their life. And also the whole process of eating, eating animals, you know, the way they process it, the way they kill them and then human eat it. I, I just don't think like, mm -hmm. if I see that I become a little bit sick, you know. I cannot eat that in my body. So that's two reasons why. But the first time uh, you decided to become a vegan, you already in Indonesia? Yes. Oh, in, in Makassar. And I see, you know those cars? And then you see chickens in the, in the back side of the, in the yeah. truck. And I was riding and I see this chicken and I was thinking, in the evening I'm gonna eat this. How, how crazy is that? And I just feel disgusting about it. Like, mm. I cannot do that. So, I just changed. Like, from one day to the other day, I just changed. Wow. Do you have a partner? Because sometimes if you want to change the way you eat, sometimes yeah. you need the supporting system, maybe your friends. My wife also. Oh, okay. So, yeah. She also became vegan, so it was very easy because we you are together. Do you know any Indonesian footballer who's vegan as well? I don't know. You? Me? Do you know? I think... Mm, I don't know, I just know that yeah. Simic is gluten-free, but he's not vegan, I think. But I think some of... I, only, I know uh, Nuri from Bali also. Oh, okay. But you know what? What I like from from the foreigners players who plays in Indonesia, they really, really appreciate uh, the kind of food they eat mm -hmm. because they know that they are a professional footballer and they don't want to eat some kind of junk food or trash or whatever, even even during the non-training time yes so they really really keep all it's uh, important the food for their body or for for their performance as well you know as a, as a foreigner in indonesia maybe people don't know this but it's self-service mm -hmm. a foreigner come in indonesia and he needs to provide he needs to perform mm -hmm. if he play one time bad two time bad everybody say out so this, this player need to do everything possible to perform, right? If a local player play bad two times, three times, four times, he just sit on the bench and that's it. Okay, still take the money. But the foreigner is different, right? 
So a foreigner need to think, how do I become big success in this country? Because if you start to eat junk food, if you start to eat bad, if you start to go party or whatever, and you play bad, that means bye bye. Yeah. So that's a big difference. Because perhaps fans have a higher expectation for you guys. Yes. Okay. So, so high expectation good. bring also high motivation and high performance, I think. Mm. You know, so many Dutch players playing in Indonesia. Yes. And how you can differentiate yourself uh, in, in terms of technical or skill? What makes you different instead of them? I think I should ask you. <laughs> the supporter. <laughs> well, for me, it's, I think you have some kind of uh, different relationship with the fans. How you communicate uh, your personal brand as your as Mark Club. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Other players can do more better in, in on the field or because. Talking about performance, sometimes you have a day off, some, sometimes you have a great time. But for your brand, I think fans love you more than mm -hmm. any other players because you have that such connection. Yeah. I, uh, I saw in your uh, social media, you are building your personal branding as well. True. Who teach you or who inspires you? I think the one, the one who inspired me is, is it's maybe Beckham from back in the days mm -hmm. when he was playing, you know. When I saw him playing, I really liked his style. But when I saw him not playing, I really liked his style too because he was always with fashion brands and he was always, you know, being uh, being a role model, you know, have his own brand with Adidas, you know. So when I saw that when I was young, I say, that's what I want to be, like that kind of, of player. So when I came in Indonesia, I, I thought I have the opportunity to explore this and I need to work on this from the day I arrived. Mm -hmm. So basically when I when I came here very young, 2017, this was my mission. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that happens in one day, right? That yeah. connection with fans and that, the branding, it's a long term process. Okay. And I always say like, when when you ask a football player, who are you? They will say, I am dot 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 player of Persija Jakarta, player of Persibana. But this is not who you are. This is your job, right? So, yeah. of course, I'm a football player. I played Persija Jakarta, but this is not who I am. I am Mark Locke. I have my own values and missions in life. And I think that's what fans and supporters and brands should know. So that's why I think personal branding is so important because one day football stops. One day the career is over, one day a pandemic happens and there is no football. But who are you? Are you still the player of the club who doesn't play anymore? Or are you something else? So that's why I think uh, this inspires me to... I think I also inspire myself because this is just who I am, right? And I chase this every day. In Indonesia, do you have any perhaps role model that... Uh, not the same like like international of course but who reach like the same as the personal branding that you have been taught i think uh bama mukas Bepe. i think it was also before my time yeah. when i arrived that he was already this public figure um, so i didn't really know before I, I only started to know because people telling me like oh you are the you know, you're doing something which only Beppe has done before. Mm -hmm. So at that moment, I started to to look into it like, and I was really impressed by an Indonesian local player uh, with the amount of things he done, public speaker, you know, uh, speak good English. So I, yeah, I have respect for that. Okay. It's interesting because uh, you already have another business, you're expanding your business. Yes. Since in Makassar, uh, 
you build like a cafe? Yeah. You have a coffee cup, coffee club, right? Coffee shop oh, uh, coffee. Uh, and and how to eat? Coffee or club, I mean. Coffee or club, yes. Yeah. Still, still running well in there? Still running there. Indonesian, Indonesia has uh, so many kind of coffee variety. I know. It's not just coffee. It's more about uh, like a cafe where you can have healthy food, vegan food. Mm. And the reason why I opened the place was because actually I couldn't eat nowhere in Makassar because there was no vegan food. So my wife had to cook every day. Mm. But I wanted to eat sometimes in a coffee shop, in a cafe, but there was never, there was not a menu that I can eat, only goreng and all this. So one day I say, let's make my own cafe. And that's why Coffee O'Clock came to realization, basically because I wanted to eat healthy <laughs> food. <laughs> the name is Kechi. Kechi? Kechi, it's, it's, it's really you. Yes, it's Coffee really me. Coffee O'Clock. Yeah. You ever thinking about franchising? Some people ask me in Jakarta um, if the right offer come, I think yes, why not? Because the concept is very good, but uh, there has to be the right offer. I think in Jakarta, the choice for vegan food is uh, much more better rather, rather than other cities. Yes. But Bali number one for yeah, vegan food. Of course. <laughs> That's why you you prefer staying in Bali, yeah. Yes. So coffee shop and then now uh, clothing, I think. Yes, merchandise. Yeah, merchandise. And what's next? Digital agency, marketing agency. Wow. For athletes mm -hmm. in Indonesia. And then, have you ever thinking about I don't know opening? Like, like restaurant in heat like this? No, I think food and beverage is not something that interests me because mm -hmm. it takes a lot of time, a lot of work, and it's not my main interest in life to open a cafe, uh, a, 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 a restaurant or something. I'm, I'm really entrepreneur. I really like to create things, like be creative. And um, yeah, so what's next? I think the marketing agency will will be good because. I think I can I can be a role model in terms of how to be more than an athlete for other athletes also. So this is something that I really look forward to to do. And I think that's it. Not too many jobs is uh, is not good because you need to focus, right? <laughs> if you have to choose, which business do you prefer, coffee shop or? Uh, the merchandise or digital agency? I think the, the merchandise and the digital agency is, 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 is one thing because part of, part of the digital agency is branding and, and, and part of branding is merchandising, right? So um, I think those two I, 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 uh, I like way more than a coffee shop. Talking about Tim Nas. Uh, the coach has called you before, right? But what I heard is because of your wife was giving birth, so you have to fly back to accompany her. Yes. And do you have any regret or oh, why? Why now? <laughs> <laughs>